Okay, y'all ready to have your first Rosh Kodesh service? Okay. There are people, tour teachers, that have them every month, you know, so I never thought about it I, as far as having one here until recently. And I believe the Lord was leading me to do a Rosh Kodesh service and started studying it. Some very important stuff popped up that we need to know. Uh, this week, uh, he showed me some real interesting things, possibly about Tibet this month. They did see the first liver in uh, Israel uh, today uh, at sunset. So at sunset here in a few minutes, about quarter after, 20 after 5, we'll go out and look for the first liver. We will see it and because uh, it's not cloudy. So that means tomorrow is Tevet 1. Tishri's the seventh month. Shesvan's the eighth month. Kislev's the ninth month. Tevet is the tenth month. So we're in the tenth month. Some interesting things in our Bible happened on, in the month of Tevet. Um, the sages say there are four fasts in Zechariah when bad things happen to God's people. And... Uh, one of them is in the month of Tevet. What do y'all know? What happened in the month of Tevet on Tevet ten, the tenth day of Tevet? In the past, uh, Zion was overrun by Nebuchadnezzar. Any, or, but anyway, war began pretty seriously. Um, United States would be attacked on uh, December twenty fifth on Christmas, and. Uh, but it didn't happen when he said it was going to happen. So if the evil people were planning something this coming Christmas, on the 10th day of Tevet, 10th of Tevet, this year is Christmas Day. This is the day that the Lord hath made or given me. I will rejoice and be glad in it. That was a verse on my mind this morning when I woke up. Um, you know, just to wake up, open our eyes and... Breathe is a wonderful thing nowadays. Uh, blessing of Messiah. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has given us the way of salvation in Messiah Yeshua. You, Lord, sanctify us with your Torah. Amen. For our Yeshua is the Torah, the Word made flesh. And these, some of these slides I'm showing you is what was taught by Mark Biltz this week. Blessing to gather the exiles of Israel, sound the silver trumpets for our freedom, raise the standard to gather exiles, gather us from the four corners of the earth. Uh, that's still to happen. So blessing over trumpets to call the exiles. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who sanctified us with your commandments, and cause us to hear the voice of the silver trumpets. So, Don, you want to try to blow the silver trumpet with me? It's really easy. But if you've never done it, <laughs> it's hard. So you'll kind of aim that way and I'll aim this way. Because the Bible says to announce the new month. So that's what we're doing. It says, blow two silver trumpets. <laughs> Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with your commandments and commanded us to assemble on Rosh Kadesh. That's in our, your Bible. Blessed are you, O Lord, who created the sun, the moon, and the stars, for you gave them Appointed times and duties, they have kept your moeds by doing your business. You are faithful, Yahweh, and has told the moon to renew itself. May it be your will, Yahweh, my Elohim and Elohim of my fathers, that you begin this month for blessing. May you give us long life, peace, goodness, health, life where there is no fear of sin, a life in which we love the Torah and a life where the Lord fulfills the request of our hearts for good. Amen. Genesis 1, 14. Let the sun, moon, and stars be for signs 
Ezekiel 46, 1. Future temple is, a, is open on the new moon for assembly. That's, our, that's still in our future. Uh, the temple will be open to celebrate the new moon. And people will assemble like we're doing here. Isaiah 66, the few, talking about the future temple, it is open from one Sabbath to the next. So is it going to be open from Saturday to Saturday or Sunday to Sunday? This is an interesting question there since they're the ones that say when the Sabbath is, you know, uh, Jewish people. Uh, and from one Rosh Kodesh, one month to the next month, you shall assemble before me. That's in the Bible. Do individuals make themselves holy or does God make you holy? God makes us holy. Well, let's look at that. Let's look at what the scripture says. God does make us holy at salvation. And do we maintain holiness month to month? Exodus 32, 29. Consecrate yourself to be holy. That's a command. Consecrate yourself to be holy. Blessings when we obey. Curses when we, we disobey. Leviticus 18.30 says, do what I say. And it says, do not defile yourselves or be unholy. So here, talking about blessings and curses. So he's saying, God's telling the people, you, you can, if you agree to follow me, I make you holy. But you've got to stay holy month to month. And uh, if you disobey or you defile yourself, you become unholy, okay? So no matter what happens in the next few days, I'll be fasting myself because Tibet 10 is a fast day in the Bible in Zechariah. So I'll be fasting Christmas Day. After sunset on Christmas Eve till sunset on Christmas Day, I'll be fasting 